I've been part of GSF basically since I've been about 16. It's not an exaggeration to say it'd be impossible for me to do the amount of training I do without GSF. Every athlete has their own sort of reasons and needs and, and requirements for some sort of assistance. The GL has supported me on my sporting journey. When you're trying to compete at like a much higher level, you need kind of the extra coaching and support and this has helped fund that. Participating in sport benefits your health, it keeps you fit, in shape, it's good for your mental health as well. The health and well-being is the key in my involvement in disability sports and wheelchair tennis. Being active produces that serotonin and just will help anyone's mental health. I have something else that I know. One, I'm working towards, and two, I've just got, like, in the background, if I ever need to, like, get out and do something, I've got that to do. I don't think that athletes should bear their emotional burdens. They should always have a support system, whether it's family member or even the Switch to Play Foundation. I'd say the biggest challenge is for sports people would be belief within yourself. Um, it can sort of eat you up if your identity is just sport. The fact that athletes will get this new support to help them through injuries and transition out of sport into new careers is so important for athletes. We always see role models who win gold medals, but disability can happen to anybody at any, any stage. The people who play disability sport, not all of them wanted a gold medal or to be the best in the world. And those members need to see us as a role model. If you believe that you can achieve the aims that you want to in your sport, then there's no one who can stop you doing that.